What's up guys and welcome back to another video. It is the preview for New Zealand versus France that takes place this weekend as the international season officially kicks off this weekend and I cannot wait to see how these teams play out. We've got phenomenal series coming up but today's focus, just like last week's, this one is on New Zealand and France. Two fantastic teams, New Zealand obviously are on dominant form, number one in the world, looking good, looking strong um, when we saw them last year. Had their ups and downs in the British and Irish Lions series, losing to Australia, but they obviously dominated South Africa and had some great results from them. France, on the other hand, they had not a great year last year, but in the Six Nations have shown improvements, growth, development, and some successes for them. Beating England is one of them. Fantastic stuff for them. Young team, new coaching staff, if I remember correctly. So that's going to build and adapt. And it's going to be a good test. Let's face it, this rivalry between New Zealand and France is always exciting. It's always, you know, some majority, sometimes New Zealand dominate, obviously. But you always have to ask that question, can France do it? Can France surprise us? And that's the beauty of of these games because it's just anyone's game really if they all come on if they all play to the best of their ability now New Zealand have got problems unfortunately injury they have hit them hard and it's sad because we know and I miss seeing Kieran Reid um, Brody Retallick that man I feel sorry for man he's just up and down last year he was out for a lot of the year and now again unfortunately against France so hopefully he can recover back um, to good health when it comes to the championship but um, yeah they got injuries um, France has obviously got a growing team a young team that's developing and getting better so I'm excited to see what we have in store for us this weekend will the, in will the injuries be too much for New Zealand or will they be able to cope or will France's young team be able to surprise us we'll have to wait and see let's take a look at some past results um, for France obviously this year having participated in the Six Nations not have, doing badly at all giving it giving it a go they took on um, the start of the season against Ireland who can forget that game that was so close 15-13 victory to Ireland last minute drop goal from Johnny Sexton to to give them the victory that was a close game we might have seen something totally different if they had won good effort from from the French on that one Scotland France um, Scot France unfortunately losing to Scotland um, again young team but they were picking up they still had a great week like the week before took on Italy 34 to 17 points uh, they beat England 22 to 16 um, unfortunately lost to Wales by one point so up and down but definite signs of improvement which was great to see um, if you're a French fan or if you're just a fan of rugby you don't want to see teams in the down and out you want to see improvements you want to see developments and um, I'm happy that they're on the rise and hopefully they can give um, the good old All Blacks a run for their money if we look back at New Zealand's fixtures from last year, took on Wales, beat them 33-18, to took on Scotland, that was a cracking game, good effort from Scotland, 22-17, to victory for New Zealand. France um, uh, got playing them also last year, the 14th of November, 23-28, to albeit that was a home game now for the French are coming into New Zealand's territory, so that's definitely going to be a, a factor favouring the All Blacks. Um, Barbarians they played the one thirty three sorry thirty one to twenty to twenty two and then obviously they lost to the Australians to, at the end of the well the final Bledisloe game South Africa and them obviously they got smashed so sorry South Africa got smashed but then we bounced back and gave New Zealand a bit of a run when New Zealand won by one point. So pretty much good fixtures if we go back to the Lions obviously we know what happened there. So, you know, it, it was an interesting season for New Zealand. Definitely not their best, definitely not their strength, strongest. But again, I'm going back to injuries were a factor for them. So hopefully that's not going to be the case for the whole year as we go forward. Um, I'm expecting some exciting things. I'm expecting something to surprise us. And that could be for any team. Um, I'm going to do the predictions because it's coming up this week for the first game. Just 
just going back, we've got two fantastic teams. We've got two fantastic teams, two that fight to this, their strength, to their ability. But for me, going into this prediction, i got to go with the home team on this one. New Zealand's history, New Zealand's past, how they've been, how they're developing, how they, they're growing under Steve Hansen. I think they're just going to continue that momentum. New Zealand beat France in the, um, in France. So for me, looking at that statistic from last year, again, being at home, having the home crowd, the home support, um, I think that's just going to be a factor that's going to benefit um, the All Blacks as they go into this game. It's going to be close, I think. I think you know, the, Fran the French are going to come in firing all things blazing at the start of the game, going in with the momentum, going in with a positive, strong attitude. And the hope, I think they're going to be hopeful. Um, new coaching staff will be excited. They're going to want to thrive on this opportunity. They want to want to prove the critics wrong. They're going to want to show that anything is possible. They just need to believe in themselves and go in the game with the right mindset, right uh, and right physical state. If I were France, I would use these injuries as an as as an advantage, as a tactic, as a mindset going forward, um, and looking at that to see a more positive way at maybe attacking a New Zealand on their weaknesses but having said that New Zealand have their injuries but they still have a fantastic team who we simply cannot write off they are brilliant in all aspects we've seen it in the super rugby pure dominance from the Crusaders from the Hurricanes Chiefs have had ups and downs Highlanders ups and downs but they're still strong they're still developing they're still growing they're still showing why New Zealand rugby is dominant Blues unfortunately have not had a great season at all but again injury factor Sonny Bill Williams hasn't played he's not going to play this weekend either so those things are unfortunately bad for them but and but we are still seeing a dominance from this team and for me just judging on those statistics and um, what I've seen with French rugby even though it's improving it's still not there or right up there yet so I just see New Zealand um, winning this one and I'm going to give a points difference of 7 to 10 points I just think New Zealand are going to come in stronger it might even be more but with it being the first test, I think they're going to want to maybe just go in and dominate and play full force, full strength. Um, Barrett, I mean, who, who can, you can't criticize that guy. He's a genius with the ball. Um, and I just think he's going to dominate, take the game forward with all the other players. I mean, that, they've got a fantastic team. And the thing with New Zealand, their bench is even fantastic. So you simply cannot count them out. So I'm excited to see what happens. First predictions of the actual international series underway. I'm going New Zealand to win by 7 or 10 points, probably maybe more. Um, uh, but I'm hoping, hoping for a good French attack. I want them to attack and play with heart and soul and passion. If they do that, they can give the All Blacks a run. But for me, judging on this game, I'm going for an All Black win. Let me know your thoughts and suggestions and comments in the se comment section down below. Who are you excited to see play and what is your prediction for this, this game this weekend? And that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. We've got a long international series coming up. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out anything. Wherever you're from in the world, hit that subscribe button. If you want to support me, help me grow this channel to get better equipment and develop it more, please feel free to support me on Patreon and leave a donation if you'd like to do that. No pressure at all. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Enjoy the rugby. Have a great one. So much more to come this week. Um, England, um, South Africa, New Zealand, France, <laughs> yeah, I've just done that, um, Australia, Ireland, and the rest of the international predictions. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys real soon for another video. Stay safe, never give up. Cheers.